half million cases down to just 13. That is a steep decline. Well, the Carter Center has put in decades of work to eradicate guinea worm disease, already significantly reducing its impact. It is a nasty disease. It's a parasite that can grow more than three feet long, pierce through the skin, and live inside a person for about a year. Atlanta News First reporter Abby Kasura shares how Jimmy Carter and the Carter Center's humanitarian work is transforming communities across the globe. A worm this long causing a burning sensation under your skin. After decades of work here at the Carter Center, the World Health Organization expects the guinea worm will be the first disease eradicated without medicine or a vaccine. <laughs> you can hear it in this little girl's scream. Yes, obviously, the personal pain is terrible. This is video of former President Jimmy Carter's trip to Ghana in 2008. He's kneeling and his wife Rosalind is consoling patients. Everything they've ever done has always been about people. Adam Weiss, director of the Guinea Worm Eradication Program, remembers the trip to the village of 2,000 people. And they didn't go for a photo op, but they really went to listen. Guinea worms can spread through contaminated water or uncooked fish. After about a year, when a female worm is fully grown, it emerges from the skin, releasing more larvae, which can continue the cycle. I think one of the unique things that he saw before anybody ever talked about it was that synergy between peace and health. Those kinds of people living in a remote village, absolutely poverty stricken and afflicted with uh, preventable disease, are just as intelligent as I am and just as hardworking as I am. Tools like this wearable, cost-effective water filter transforming the way the villages drink water to this day. Carter has famously said he wants to see the eradication of guinea worm during his lifetime. Not because of his legacy and that it would be attached to his leadership and vision, but rather because of the people that were suffering from the disease. The World Health Organization is expecting the eradication of guinea worm by the end of the decade. There are still 13 cases spread across four countries in Africa. In Atlanta, I'm Abby Casores.